What are the top 10 unspoken rules in professional bass fishing? That's what we're gonna talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, become part of the team and family. And let me just say thank you for all the new subscribers and members and all the people who comment and are part of this channel. I really do appreciate it. And if you're watching this, you're part of the team. But if you're not a subscriber, click that button because it's free and you should and become part of the team. With all the things that are going on in professional fishing, with forward facing sonar and issues and penalties, I thought it might make a fun video to talk about the top 10 unspoken rules in professional bass fishing. Now, obviously I'm gonna miss some. So if I miss some, comment below and tell me which ones I've missed. I kind of put all of these in order as how I see them. One, two, or all of them could be wrong. But these are just 10 that I felt like were some of the top issues I've noticed over the last few years. And I jotted them down and ranked them from 10 to one. At number 10, don't snag fish. Something that makes a lot of sense. But these days, I think it happens more than we know. And I think it's an unspoken rule that gets broken more than we probably know. Number nine, when you're going to the fishing, you're going to that fishing tournament, don't stop at the local tackle shops and talk fishing. Don't get that extra information because when you're at that tackle shop and they're bragging about all the things that they've done and caught, you're gathering information and it's the hardest rule to enforce. At eight, your boat might look like a NASCAR, but it isn't, so slow down. I think this is one of the things that I really believe in firmly. I think there's a lot of accidents that happen because of how fast these boats go. And I think they're unsafe at times, especially for a co-angler who doesn't have anything to hold on to. You don't, all you have is that little oh shit bar on the side and your feet against that, that wall. But I think anglers go too fast to get to their spots. Number seven is for co-anglers. Don't throw in front of their boat. Don't throw in front of the boat. It's, it's an unspoken rule. You're allowed the sides in the back. You're a co-angler for a reason. You're not supposed to take precedent of, of the angler that's on the front of the boat. And it's their boat. So respect them, but don't throw in front of them. Number six, never drop a waypoint on your GPS of another angler's spot. Yeesh. I know this one happens a lot. You see someone catching fish and you go, oh, let me just mark that. That's a no-no. It's an unspoken rule. So don't do it. Number five is gonna make a lot of sense. Find your own fish. There's lots of them out there. They might have a honey hole or a place that they like, but find your own. Number four, even though you sunk that brush pile, that doesn't mean it's yours. If an angler finds it and is there first, they get to fish it. And remember, no one owns the water, not the dock, not that sunken bush, not any of it. It's an unspoken rule. Number three, don't run up on someone and shut down on top of them. Oh God, this one makes me crazy. You're at a spot that you know you're gonna fish and out of nowhere they come up and now they're your new neighbor and they're right on top of you. They can smell you. They can hear your voice. They can smell your farts. Don't shut down on top of somebody. Number two kind of goes with number one and that's don't cut off another angler. If you see an angler trolling down an area, don't go around him and go 50 feet in front of him and stop and then start trolling the same way that they were going. This is one of my biggest pet peeves. I think this is horrible to do as a fun angler or a professional tournament angler. I think this happens all the time. We see it all the time on YouTube with people that get pissed off because they, other anglers do it. This is really an unspoken rule. And at number one, and my last one, you don't come in on the tournament leader. This is one that has happened recently. And this is, I know the water is open to everyone and you can do whatever you want, but have respect for that tournament leader. You're in 30th place and you're going to come up on that tournament leader. I mean, that's just disrespectful. And it's an unspoken rule. And if you break the rule, then expect it to happen back to you and you can't say anything about it. Do not come in on the leader of the fishing tournament. 
It is horrible precedent and it is disrespectful. So what unspoken rules did I miss? Comment below and tell me what you think. Thank you for watching. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I will talk to you very, very soon. Cheers and thank you.